Jumbo Jumbo guys, my name is Mrs. Sarah Kabu, Managing Director, Bonfire Adventures. As you can see, I'm in this beautiful, beautiful holiday haven. That's what we call it. It's a small haven located in Mombasani, Kenya, along Kikambala Beach. So I would like to welcome you to my very exclusive holiday home where I own one of the beachfront villas. Karibuni sana. So guys, this is Tarehe Beachfront Villa at Sultan Palace Gated Holiday Home Community uh, along Kikambara Beach in Mombasani, Kenya. And come with me so that you can see my beautiful holiday home. So guys, this is a modern coastal beachfront villa. Uh, the interior pieces, that is the furniture, art and deco pieces are from sh different shops around the world, that is coastal shops. As you know, I am a frequent traveler. So anytime I travel, I buy some deco pieces and I've been collecting them in my home and I felt why not come and display them in this place. Uh, so as the deco is from all over the world, we are also going to be offering world-class uh, dining experiences in this place. So our chefs can be able to make you from Italian food, Thai food, British food, you know, name it, Indian food, African food, Swahili dishes, you know, made with some class and style. Come with me and let's see the place. So welcome to my home. So this is where the Caribou, the landing lobby, also known as the Caribou Lounge. This is where guests land, they are welcome, sanitized. And we have a Stodra's play area just under the staircase. So you can see we have beautiful art decos. Uh, these, these are made uh, locally, I got them locally. And uh, after we get to Caribou Lounge, we, we then get out to the Jumbo Jumbo Lounge. So Karibuni wanted the Jumbo Jumbo Lounge. So Karibuni to the Jumbo Jumbo Lounge. Uh, when guests arrive, this is where they are welcomed. If it's during the day, they can enjoy some madafu. Uh, if it's in the evening, they can enjoy some mocktails or kahawa tungu or even the tamarind juice with ginger and lemon. So as you can, as I told you, the villa is a modern coastal villa. All the things are shipped from different parts of the world. And uh, what I like about this lounge is the views. And the, of course, that is what carried me away to get this villa. Uh, I don't know what you see, think, but Karibuni tukunyo kawa tungu. In the evening, this is a place you can enjoy bonfire or an outdoor movie uh, or just drinks with friends who maybe might be visiting the coast and might know you're here and may want to catch up with you. So these are some cinnamon cookie freshly baked from our kitchen. As we said, the reason why people take this visa is not maybe to save on the cost of staying in a hotel but to get that private, personalized experience, world-class experience, you know, you could have a chef who has made nice meals for you from, you know, wherever. Sometimes you can plan to even come with him and have a, a grand experience of the chef here. But our chefs, of course, they are very, very professional and they will make you the best food you can ever think of. So let me sip some kahawa tungu and then we can continue seeing the house. Welcome to Bahari Suite. 
this is one of the bedrooms in the in the villa this bedroom is very ideal for children uh, you can see these are king size bed uh, and this is a single bed so you can have two or three kids sleep here and there and even this can be turned into a bed maybe for a nanny or a small child so this bed is just next to the pool yes you can see actually uh, in the morning sometimes I usually set up a picnic for the children over here so this room is very ideal when it hosts kids and when uh, if, you, if you have children who you're scared of the pool then uh, we can close this door you can permanently close this door so that's the so that the children don't have to jump to the pool without your permission so this is it uh, you can see we have beautiful wall arts uh, as I said, it's from different parts of the world coastlines, uh, like this is at Dao. We have some seashells over here, and this is just a map to show you, you know, different places around the world. So when you come here, you are not just coming to Mombasa, but the villa is, it feels like you're in a yacht which is sailing to different parts of coast along the world. We have some decor, this room, the theme is dark blue and sky blue. Uh, of course, representing the, the different shades of the ocean. Yes, uh, the, the light is you can see how traditional it is with a Maasai feel, but a beach feel. So, so this is a nice place to catch up on a daytime nap or read a book as you have your baby sleep for the mothers uh, or even read Bible stories for the kids at night as you sit on this sofa and sing lullabies or Bible stories to the children. So let's go to the next room. Jumbo Jumbo. Welcome to the grand master bedroom. <laughs> I believe it's the most beautiful bedroom along the Kenyan coast. So its theme is the golden sands. That's why we also call it the golden sands suite. Uh, so the three bedrooms upstairs are based on the different kinds of sands that you may find along the beach. When you pick the sand, it has, sometimes you can find some golden shades, some silver sand shades and the white sands. So the first bedroom, of course, I had to choose the best that is the golden sands and uh, I so much like it there's a TV over here so especially if you're the king of the house the palace when you hire the house uh, sometimes you you want some privacy and catch up with the office this is a nice place to lounge uh, or sometimes you just want to unwind and watch a Netflix movie so this is the place to relax and of course you are on holiday you have come to rest so you need a restful bed i'm telling you this bed i don't need to tell you So guys, this is the place you come to unwind. You, when you come on holiday, you need to come to a comfortable place. This is just a, a great blanket that you can coil around here with your sweetheart and cover as you watch a movie. Yes, so as I'm telling you, these are like pieces of the golden suns. 
and uh, if you don't want a lot of lighting you can switch off the central light and the, the room feels dim you just put on the bedside light the headboard light and of course the two like shaded lights so this room is very ideal as i've told you you've come to look at the carpet the the carpet feels like the golden sand itself So, as we are saying, this is a place for a king to retreat. If you know you, if you feel you are a king, this is the place for you. So after a long day, you can just come here. You know, water is said to be relaxing. When you sit over here and watch the ocean it's the rapic as you drink your favorite drink uh these people forgot to bring my drink here but imagine taking that cosmopolitan cocktail or a mocktail of your choice or you could be a moet person or that car red sweet wine or dry wine whatever drink you prefer or some masala tea for what you got to fear <laughs> this is the place to be during the day this is a place you can in a tango kuchi relax and just feel the sea breeze oh my goodness <laughs> india in a tango soft life eh, 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 eh. watch a niamuke before <laughs> so this is the master bedroom uh, if you know a bedroom that is more beautiful than this along the Kenyan coast, let me know. Uh, but I believe currently this might be the most, not only beautiful, but also comfortable. Modern, but still coastal. So as you can see some of these artworks, are locally gotten but very very beautiful to the artist out there kudos you're doing a good job uh, this is a palm tree this is like a golden palm palm tree uh, it's not a photo this is also a piece of art yeah we have we have to appreciate the artists out here so in the bathroom we have the his and hers bathroom so the lady can use this as her shower area we have four body and hand towels for you and a bath towel so we have five towels for her and another five towels for him now the beauty of being in a holiday home is you can be able to bring your own bath soap. You know the way sometimes you find in a hotel, <laughs> so here you can be able to bring your bath soaps and your lotions and everything. But we also do provide the same ones being offered in the hotels. So let's go to the next bedroom, which is the Silver Sands bedroom. So guys, welcome to the Silver Sands Suite. It's, as you can see, look at these fabrics. So guys, the Silver Sands Suite has a touch of purple for royalty or you know elegance I, I believe purple is a color for royalty yes and this suite also has its seafront so in this villa three rooms are very very seafront so if it's a, it's a couple uh, that is on holiday why not set up a date here with, for your loved one <laughs> as you watch the ocean afternoon tea it could be a sundowners as you watch the sunset this is a perfect spot for you and there is a swing bed over here so you can swing yourselves and you know like 
Angalia the flowers too on the wall. The wall arts are just beautiful. I just so love everything about the, the room. So for those who don't know, silver also represents feather. So Nikamua could get some feathers there. And of course, since it's my... By the way, this house is also dedicated to my daughter, Anita. So this is somehow her room. I had to make some flowers for her over there. I told you Starehe Beachfront Villa is five star standards villa or if it's towels we will give you the two body towels two hand towels a floor towel and around four face towels in each room refreshed every morning and evening uh, so hapa ni raha jipe mwenyewe So guys, this is the Mawimbi Lounge. Uh, I'm sure you can see it's safari themed. I wanted to have both the feel of bush and beach. Uh, since we have already a lot of blue downstairs, I did not want to introduce any blue upstairs. Since we are in Kenya and Kenya is the home of safaris, I wanted it to feel safari. And this place has beautiful, beautiful views of the ocean so this is also known when you are at your home this is what you call the pajama lounge it also serves as a library we have some books here and of course for the kids they, they can be able to do watch play with their laptops watch some tv series here or even a playstation you see uh, because we want you to feel at home while you are away. So whatever the choice is yours, if you don't want the TV, just switch it off. Uh, but it's, it's a good place. It has beautiful views of the Sultan Palace estate. As I told you, this place is beachfront. You'll be able to see the aerial view of the place and see how the whole place is close to the beach. Our villa is are like five meters to the beach, like five meters from the villa, you touch the white sand. Um, so this is a nice place to relax, uh, even for adults, when sometimes kids are downstairs being fed as you prepare for dinner, the adults can lounge over there and give kids their time, then they can now come. It's just very close to the master bedroom, and the, that is the golden sun suite and the silver sun suite. I'm sure you are asking me, where is the white sun suite? <laughs> come with me. So Jumbo Jumbo, I know you're asking where is the white sun suite? That is the fifth bedroom. This space is supposed to be the fifth bed. It was supposed to be an outdoor lounge, but the place is hot from morning to evening. And in the nights, you know, it can be windy and cold. So you can't be able to lounge here even at night. So I decided to convert it into a bedroom, but of course, lazima ni jipange. So this will be the white sun suite. Uh, the cutaway here is just to show you the theme of how the place will look, but it will be done at a later date. So for now, it's just a lounge that is not so useful because of the sun uh, you cannot be able to lounge here for for long but it has beautiful views of the estate As I 
told you my villa is a modern coastal villa with art pieces from all over the world like this makes me feel you know caribbean miami i don't know uh, but it's an art piece that i so so love every time i pass through the staircase it's such a beautiful feeling actually i stand here and just stare at the art piece uh, so this now we are leaving the upstairs bedrooms as we go downstairs to see the other bedrooms downstairs we have two bedrooms that is the bahari suite and the Ma Ma mawimbi suite so this is i wanted the staircase to feel multicolored not just one color because downstairs we just have three colors blue white and gray guys welcome to mawimbi suite the carpet feels my wimby you can see the sea waves the ocean waves yes so this is the other bedroom that is ideal for kids but even a couple if you're four couples coming to this villa this is an ideal bedroom the mawimbi suite is also uh made with the color theme of blue and white because we didn't want the kids to fight choosing which room this has color we made we wanted to make this the rooms feel the same and also be in the theme of downstairs that is the blue white and gray or silver so this place this room if you have a baby up to around uh maybe 10 years we have a smaller and a bigger baby coat so one of the baby coats can be able to fit in this place so we just remove this sofa and we put the baby coat for you uh so the two bedrooms uh, can be this can be able to sleep three kids and that bedroom can sleep four children are fitted with AC and a fan but now we also have some other natural for me I don't like both the AC and I don't like the fan I cannot be able to sleep with either the fan or the AC but we have implemented I think we are among the first to implement this technology where you put this is a net so you can be able to open the windows and you put this net so mosquitoes cannot come in so you will be able to enjoy the cool breeze from the ocean and uh, you will, the mosquitoes will not, not enter your room we've also treated the room or the house with the mosquito repellents so that mosquitoes are not able to come into the room as much as we still have the mosquito net because of that one or two that has this key <laughs> yeah so karibuni sana this is the place to be. Uh, so we have a marble dining which is very easy to maintain especially if you have you know people frequently dining on the dining and you always have to wipe so that's why i opted to go for a marble dining otherwise i would have taken a wooden one uh, some of the dining art pieces as i said we uh, like this coral is made by the locals around here uh but we have some art pieces from different coasts around the world 
the dining experience definitely is fine dining and world class but on guest request we also do mini buffet we have all the cutlery for the buffet but as we said we want to give guests that personalized touch of their favorite foods around the world at this villa so as you stay in the villa imagine yourself in a yacht and it's landing in one of your beautiful coastlines which are the nice foods you like it could be landing maybe along the french riviera or the italian coast it could be landing somewhere in india it could be landing somewhere in Cape Town. It could be landing in our Mombasani. Wherever the, the yacht is docking, there are foods around that place. So in the evening, the chef will ask you tomorrow morning, where do you want me to dock? If you say India, and then you have a day full of foods from around that place. So we have different cutleries. Actually, we have six kinds of cutlery for every occasion. So come with me to the kitchen and you will be able to see some of the cutleries. So guys, welcome to Starehe Beachfront Villa Kitchen. The kitchen is open plan. Uh, so you can be able to interact with the chef from the dining table and in the kitchen we have two cooking stations so this station is for the pastry chef and this cook, uh, cooking station is for the sauce chef also known as the master chef so the one making the hot dishes some calamari here some veggies you know some rice whatever it could be uh, that's the station for the sauce chef. So this is a movable station So when the chef doesn't want some disturbance, he can block this area or when he has a wide variety of buffet This comes in handy Cheers! Welcome to Starehe Beachfront Villa. This is the main lounge. Uh, we also call it the Starehe Lounge. I I don't know how how you like it, but it's very very comfortable. The deco pieces are, as I said, are from shops different places all over the world some are collected locally like this is straight from the beach around here uh, so is this and the theme of this downstairs area as i told you is the gray the blue and the white so we have different wall paintings and uh, wall effects that are coastal themed oh these guys did a very jo a good job i so love this Actually, I was unable to move this fireplace to this place because when I was shopping, I thought the fireplace would fit here and the TV goes up, but I'm unable to re remove this. Um, so the place uh, can be able to sit comfortably. Th this sofa can sit around six children or uh, two couples. Uh, this can be able to sit another two couples or three children and this can be able to sit a couple so comfortably the lounge can be able to host around eight to ten people uh, that's a family maybe two or three families and uh, what I like about this place when we come here is the movie nights most evenings after dinner we always do a movie night with our children it's time to catch up because when we're in Nairobi hustling sometimes it's usually very hard 
to even find time to have with our children but now we have dinner together then we come here and have a movie night all of us we coil on this sofa my family can we can all fit in this sofa but if you have a bigger family the parents can be able to sit there or over there and you enjoy a great great movie night this sofa can be moved to near the bar area so that guys can be able to enjoy a movie night also, um, also most of our recipes because we have all the time when we're on holiday sometimes we check a recipe here then we tell the chef this is what you want us uh, you want we want you to make us for lunch and he makes exactly that so this is the beauty of being on holiday here because inambiwa roho inakula kile inataka see when you could these are the things on the buffet if you can't eat that you're done so the place as i told you this villa has three lounges that is the jumbo jumbo lounge where we took the kahawas tungu this is the starehe lounge which is the main lounge and the safari lounge a themed lounge which we are calling the mawingu mawingu lounge so sometimes uh, we usually feel oh the kids are too much the, we have watched enough cartoons to, to tv and all that so we can be able to go up there and sometimes watch a movie or something as the kids are being fed at the dining maybe like when we have a visiting couple so welcome to this place and the lighting here is to die for so I, sometimes i just stand and just watch the lighting let me show you plus the dining light how beautiful the place is they are crystal lights very modern uh, but within the theme of the whole place so we try to mix modern and classic uh, so that the place does not feel like a museum so the place feels very fresh very futuristic but at the same time not plastic not you know shino shino hapana something i am sure you if you love vintage stuff you will feel at home if you love modern stuff you will still feel at home so welcome for your dream holiday away from home so guys when you're staying here you can request for a buffet any of your days or maybe if you have a party maybe it could be a birthday party an uh, anniversary most of our meals we recommend as a la carte especially in the evening fine dining but if you request buffet uh, we can always arrange do buffet these are the utensils for the buffet uh, maximum we can be able to host is 20 people if maybe we have guests staying in another villa so we have other villas around this place so if you're a bigger group of more than 10 packs we recommend you to take two villas or uh, this villa and an apartment maybe two bedroom three bedroom depending on your group uh, so the maximum guests we can be able to serve is 20 guests uh, they sit at the dining in two shifts or they sit outside if it's lunch or breakfast and these are the serving dishes that we use we do not accept groups of more than 20 people in the villa because of breakages and of course they, they'll still kill the ambience if there are so many people around but you can invite friends to come maybe for lunch or something and uh, our chefs will be able to coordinate that so guys uh, let me know what you'd want make the inquiries by commenting down below or you can also say, contact us on facebook instagram youtube or facebook our our, our handles are starehe beachfront villa and our telephone number is also on our pages thank you